video is going to focus on the difference between carbon insets and carbon offsets. So Jordan, you and I have been working in the carbon space for a couple of years now, and we've seen some major changes in that time. Absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things that I've seen looking at carbon markets over the past five years is this transition that we're seeing from what we call carbon offsets to companies now doing carbon insets. Yeah, absolutely. Will you explain to us the difference between an offset and an inset? Yeah, absolutely. I, the easiest way to do this is through an example. What I like to use typically is the airline industry, right? And so let's just say the airline industry has $250 million to invest in meeting their greenhouse gas goals. So that airline could take that money and invest in a reforestation project in the Amazon, right? That planting of those trees, you know, sequesters carbon out of the atmosphere, which generates greenhouse gas credits or carbon credits, mm -hmm. and they can be used to offset that airline's greenhouse gas emissions. And since that project of a planting trees is outside of the direct supply chain of that airline company, that's considered a carbon offset. Okay, and historically, when we started working on this, almost everything we were looking at was carbon offset contracts. Absolutely, carbon offset contracts that were paying for carbon credits that were being generated based on various projects around the globe. The biggest thing now, we've seen a shift to what now is called considered carbon insetting. And using that same airline example, instead of that airline industry uh, investing in a reforestation project, they can take that money and invest in sustainable aviation fuel. And sustainable aviation fuel, since that is in the direct supply chain and lowers the greenhouse gas score per se, rather than petroleum based jet fuel, it lowers their greenhouse gas emissions. And so since that is inside the supply chain, it's considered a carbon inset. So you have outside the supply chain, inside the supply chain, is the difference between a carbon offset and a carbon inset. I think one important thing here too to keep in mind is that for farmers, ranchers, folks in the agricultural industry, they got a place in both the carbon inset contracts and the offset contracts. Absolutely, you know, you'll, you're seeing a lot more in the you know carbon insetting for food and beverage companies, for example, your Nestle's, Bayer has a carbon insetting program. And so uh, you can participate in those voluntarily or you can sign a contract with a carbon in, uh, offset company where you're send, signing a 10-year contract to generate carbon credits that may get sold to a company outside of agriculture completely. And so farmers and ranchers have a, a place to play in uh, both the carbon offset and in-setting space. Mm -hmm.